Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 16th of October 2020 and the time has just gone 11.29 British summer time. And this week's Chart of the Week is the US Small Cap 2000, as we call it on our platform. Uh, you might know it as the Russell 2000. Um, if you take a look at the wider trend, we can see that since mid to late March, it's been a solid upper trend. Um, major rebound witnessed uh, just like in many other uh, many other global uh, stock markets and particularly US markets um, but if you take a look at the the highs that we achieved uh, in October didn't actually retest the highs of the kind of pre-pandemic era so we haven't pulled back all the all the all the, the ground that was lost before in, the, in because of the pandemic and even if you go back further we notice how the highs that were achieved uh, in January 2020 or early 2020 weren't even the all-time highs because they were achieved back uh, in August 2018. So it's a coming from a relatively low base. It's possibly because the likes of the likes of say the S&P 500 and obviously the Nasdaq 100 have very high tech uh, components, whereas the small cap market isn't as influenced uh, in, in, in relation to those stocks. Uh, but nonetheless, it's been pushing higher the last few the last few uh, the last few weeks. Uh, we can see here that, uh, that uh, in the middle of, of October. Not that long ago, it hit its uh, multi-month high. It hit the highest level uh, it's seen basically since February. Um, so it hit a eight and hit a eight-month high. We can see here in the last couple of sessions, we had an aggressive move to the downside uh, only only yesterday. But notice how the body of this candle here completely engulfs the body of yesterday's of, of the candle on Wednesday. So that is quite bullish in itself. The long wick on the candle here denotes indecision. So it seems that you know we had a, a couple, we had a multi-month high, we had a, we, we lost ground Tuesday, Wednesday, we sold off in the early part of Thursday, only to rebound. Uh, that that's so that that's quite a quite bullish. We are indicating to be pushing on higher yet again. So if we do press on higher from here, we could be looking at retesting uh, Wednesday's high in around 16, 16 53. Uh, should sure we go beyond that and it, you know we, we would then be hitting fresh multi-month highs and then we could be heading up towards 1700 and beyond that we could be looking at retesting the highs achieved in early january in around at 1712. if you do though um drift lower and, and move to the downside support could be found from this area here 1600 you know it's kind of a, it's a big number notice how the, the 1600 zone uh, well, just north of it, back in the middle of August, acted as a resistance on the way up. Um, so it's hardly, a, it's hardly a shock that acted as support uh, only only yesterday. Uh, if we do have a break below that, we could head back down toward this zone here, down around 1573. Uh, we saw some consolidation in that in the price in that in that in that zone uh, in the kind of early early part of the month in early October. Uh, it also acted as resistance. In the middle of September, uh, and even if you go below that, we could see support come into play from this blue line here. Uh, we can notice on a few occasions uh, in the last few months that this blue line, the 50-day moving average, acted as as a support. And if a metric has acted as support in the past, it makes it more likely it will act as support in the future, although there are no guarantees. And that comes into play in at 15.57. Now, if you're going to be trading the Russell 2000, the, the US small cap 2000, it's worth your while noting, noting what's going on on other US indices. So we can take a look at the, at the uh, we can notice here on the small cap, the US small cap 2000, it's not too far away from this multi-month high and it's come to be above its 50 day moving average. Whereas if you take a look at what's going on on the S&P 500, it's a similar situation. Uh, the, highs that were in, the highs that were achieved in October Granted, didn't take off the highs and retest the highs of September, which were an all-time high, but the highs, but the highs that we achieved at the beginning of this week, not too far away from the all-time highs. The S&P 500 is comfortably above this blue line here, which is, which is its 50-day moving average. And the reason why I'm talking about this uh, is because of Dow theory. One of the tenets of Dow theory is that the averages must confirm each other, and that essentially means markets that are quite similar. In this case, two U.S. Uh, stock indices. If they're quite, if they're, if they're, they, they should, sh in theory, um, should be kind of moving in the same direction at the same time. Or if you're looking, if you think the S the Russell 2000 is going to continue to press higher, it's likely we're going to see a, a positive move as well on the S&P 500. 
where, whereas if both indices are moving lower, you can then become more confident that the, the, the broader team in equities is going to be to the downside. So if you are going to be trading the Russell 2000, I would keep an eye on what's going on with the S&P 500. Um, also, in terms of um, in terms of um, economic indicators, today in about two hours' time at 13:30 British Summer Time, we have the announcement of U.S. retail sales, and that's, and that's going to be give us a good indicator of, of what demand is like in the U.S. Uh, so we could see some additional volatility on the back of that. Um, that's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a good trading week and good luck.